What's going on everybody? I'm Oni Mike and I am here at the Game Creator. Now I made this new channel because uh, personally I was just tired of playing games. Um, as much as I do love gaming and everything else, uh, just playing them got very repetitive and if you've played any recent games, they're all pretty much the same. So, um, with this channel, what I want to do is create games. And one of the first um, uh, game tutorial engines I want to show you is Quest. Uh, Quest is an uh, interactive adventure texting uh, based game. So basically, you know, like Zork um, or any other type of text adventure game like that. Um, can be made with this engine. Now there are different, like uh, Adrift. Uh, Adrift is another one. Um, Inform Seven is another one. Uh, those are I, I am temporarily learning, and I actually like their uh, flow. Uh, but Quest is a little bit easier for me right now because I've been working with Quest. Um, now. One of the first tutorials that I want to show you guys because there's not, there's like hardly anything as far as tutorials go uh, when it comes to Quest and how to make a game, uh, how to do certain things, or anything like that. And one of my first tutorials are going to be uh, a basic, like, uh, survival type game. Because I've never seen a text survival game. Usually when you consider text, you consider uh, go here, go there, do this, do that, you know, kill this thing, check this out, and then game's over. Okay, my idea behind a uh, survival game was basically kind of like the forest or seven days you know because I do live love those games I really do I just get tired of playing them you know and what I wanted to do was create it so I thought it would be very awesome to create that type of game uh, in a text-based form so um, let me go ahead and and show you guys uh, one of the projects I was working on oh it was about two years ago and then when I had a computer crash I lost all my coding for it so, so a lot of it's still broken uh, some of it still doesn't work but uh, let me launch it up here for you okay so I hope the sound isn't too loud for you guys but here I'll show you guys so as you come in you see you're in the woods you can see a rock a tree grass blah 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 and you can go east well this was basics I I didn't put any descriptions in yet because um, I didn't want any descriptions in yet that wasn't that wasn't my goal you know was to first start off with Oh, you see, you know, vines coming off the trees. The moss is growing to one side of the tree, so you can tell that this direction is north or, you know, anything like that. That was going to be, you know, what I eventually put in. Now, as you can see, being exposed to the elements will eventually kill you. Well, this is my uh, exposure timer. So once my exposure gets up to a certain level, which means, you know, I'm out in the wilderness, uh, I'm exposed to the elements, so once it gets up to a certain number, my health will start dropping. Uh, my hunger, my thirst, everything else drops as, you know, time goes on. And also you can see here, you know, all my stats. All this, the health, the hunger, the thirst, exposure, wounded, true or false, blah, blah, blah. So, like, if I was wounded, I would mark this true, and then when that's marked true, you would slowly lose health over time, you know, a lot quicker than you would, let's say, if you're just exposed. So, anyways, y you see how it says here again, you should really work on some sort of fire. I was working on, you know, giving people, you know, uh, uh, 
I don't know what's the right word I'm looking for, but basically the idea of what they needed to do. Uh, there was kind of a tutorial, but the tutorial really wasn't working out all that great. So let's go ahead and we can hit craft, but it says you must take this item first. So we have to pick it up, so let's take it. So as we take it, it disappears from our places and objects, and it pops up in our inventory. Well, once it's in our inventory, we have a few things we can do. We can look at it. You have one. So we have one rock. So let's see if we can go somewhere else and find another one. Rock. Let's take that rock. So you see I only had it programmed for one rock and what I ended up doing was I had to make multiple 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 items of the rock and uh, it just wasn't conducive but I found a lot easier way and I wanted to touch a lot of these bases with you guys but if I go here I craft the rock I craft the rock it's going to give me sharp stones and it still says I only have one see that was part of the bug but once I lost all my information I couldn't I couldn't keep going forward with it uh, the grass if I hit the grass grass is destroyed now I can take it so let's say I was here and I see more grass if I tried to just take it you must break it down before taking it so that means we would have to hit it hit it and then grass is destroyed and then we could take it so once it's in here grass is already destroyed we can't hit it no more so what do we do we craft once we craft it we get plant fiber so if we look at it you have one left if we go to grass this other grass and we craft it that disappears and we look at our plant fibers and now we have two so this is kind of going to be what we're going to be working on um, for the first little bit all we're going to be working on is basically setting up our scene and what we're going to be doing um, what we're going to start off crafting is going to be basics there's going to be sticks on the ground and there's going to be grass and when you pick up the grass you can get the plant fibers and what we want to do with the plant fibers from there is make cloth once we make cloth we can take the sticks and the cloth and we're gonna make a little lean-to and once we make that lean-to we'll be able to go inside of it so that's going to be the first okay guys I was uh, gonna interrupt that video really quick because I wanted to show you some uh, cool stuff that I uh, had actually done in the old game uh, don't pay any attention to this error but what I did is I went through and um, I collected all my stuff that I needed okay as you've seen before collect grass get plant fiber and um, the sticks I got from Let's go see if we can find us a bush. And you see how the rabbit just popped up and there's a deer that popped up. I have wandering animals, wandering NPC animals, which can be caught in traps. You can make traps in this game and everything else. Um, but that's kind of why I wanted to uh, make these tutorials because I wanted to show you guys uh, some cool things. So let's go ahead and craft that. We'll make that into a sharp stone as well. And uh, let's take one more just in case. I want to make sure we got enough. It's been a while. I wanted to show you guys the crafting menu that I have. Um, so first we're going to go to plant fiber. And we're going to craft. And we have six feet of rope. So... From there, we're going to go to handle and craft, and we're going to craft it with the rope, and it gives us a man catcher. I know, stupid naming convention, but it was a naming convention. Okay, and then from there, we're going to go on our sharp stone, and we can combine. We're going to combine it with the man catcher, 
and now it turns into a stone axe. So now we have a tool we can work with. So without this, if I drop it, okay, a stone axe is here. I can go to this boulder and I can mine. You need a way to break down the boulder, okay? So let's pick back up our stone axe. And now let's hit the boulder. So now we can actually hit and mine this boulder, which actually does damage. And then we get that. And then a piece of scrap iron pops up. And a piece of flint pops up. So now we have flint and iron. So that's awesome. You know, you can as well as chop down bamboo. So let's say we didn't have our axe on us and we wanted to chop this. Oh, with what? My bare hands? You know, so this was my kind of putting my little ha 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 two cents in there. But anyways, now we got our stone axe again. We can chop it. takes a little bit longer to chop down the bamboo because I have it waiting on the sound before you can keep going. Which gives you a little more of a, uh, instead of uh, crafting timers and, you know, how long it takes you to do stuff instead of just being able to click, 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 click. It takes time. You have to listen to the sounds and everything else. So, now we got bamboo stalks, we can take bamboo stalks. Uh, from there we can craft bamboo stalks. Oh, no we can't. We can't. We need something. That's right. Uh, let me go find us. Oh, and we got a pond, you know, so if we wanted to go to the pond, we can look at the pond. Uh, it's a little murky right now. I'll try later when it clears up. So. All we see is water. We can look at nothing out of the ordinary. We could drink it if we wanted to. It gives us a chance to get poisoned and, you know, or dysentery, but it's just poison pretty much. Hmm, wonder if that pond cleared up yet. So I could go and look back in it. Oh, look at this. Now there's the fish. It is cleared up. So if I try to take it, you have to kill it or trap it first. If I try to eat it, it helps to catch the fish first. So I had it where you could go fishing, you could catch the fish, uh, you could skin it, cook it, eat it, all that good stuff. All that stuff was in here. But my original thing was to show you guys where I got the sticks. There's bushes lying around, so if I hit the bush, then it goes away, and then it becomes sticks. Okay, so you got more sticks. You see how it it lets you know you got more. Now, if it's your first time getting sticks and you don't have them in your inventory, they will pop up in the room. But if you have them, it adds to that stick value. Okay, so if you look at it, you have four left. Okay, and then from there, you would combine. You could combine it and you can make a handle. So now if I look at the sticks, I have two. It takes two sticks to make one handle, which lets you be able to craft, you know, a multitude of things, uh, like a shovel um, and a couple other things. But the stone axe is one of the main ones. So if we go on, let's go to a tree right quick. Let's go chop down this tree. So we're chopping down the tree, and tree's gone. Fallen tree. So now we have to chop on this fallen tree, and we can try to take it. You can't just take the fallen tree, but we got to cut it up in sections. Okay. Again. My goodness, this fallen tree. So now we can take the tree trunks. If we look at them, there's five tree trunks, so we can take them. Let's take those. Uh, let's craft. And now that we crafted, we crafted up some planks. Uh, let's look at how many. We get three planks, so let's, uh, let's craft one more. And then let's see what we can do. Let's craft, uh, let's do a, 
wooden frame okay we got a wooden frame uh, wooden frames are great you can make your uh, houses and uh, whatever else like that I used it to make a workbench like I said I was going off like seven days to die Minecraft with the forest but just being alone you know it there's nothing really out to get you at least that was my idea uh, if you try to upgrade it you must place it first so if we want to we can drop it right here and see how we got wood frame and we can upgrade it it's going to disappear turn into fortified wood upgrade it again oh we need more planks so let's go back to our tree trunk let's craft and let's craft so now we should have uh, we only have three planks of wood which isn't good so how many more does that give us look at now we have six planks okay good um, let's upgrade that let's see if we can upgrade it one more time uh, need more planks to craft this table so we still need another tree so we could go around let me enlarge this we could go around and look for another tree there's one and we can chop it thirst is getting crazy I might have to go take a drink out of that pond tree trunks now you see that was another bug I didn't reset the values of uh, my last fallen tree so you automatically get that um, so let's look at we got five trunks so let's craft one and see how many planks we got now we have six planks of wood so it should be enough adding player to dictionary see yeah there's always some kind of some kind of something somewhere. Let's see if we can find our. Where were we? Where's our fortified wood? There it is. Now we upgrade it again. Now it turns into a crafting table. Now we're able to make more items than we would be if we were just trying to craft from our menu so if we go to crafting table choose a category tools traps or I should say traps tools shelters weapons food and drinks so if we go to traps you see snare trap box trap next trap and we can't really do anything with those yet um, there's a few things that you could make I think it was like a tent you could make uh, as long as you have enough stuff, you could make that. Um, yeah, I had it to where you can make a tent. You could set it down. You could go inside, and your exposure would start going down. Um, I think I had the exposure wrong. Oh, nope, there it goes. Now my health is starting to go down. So if I went to my planks, and I craft, let's craft a basic you need more planks first alright let's craft that let's go to planks craft that let's craft a basic campfire there's our campfire let's see if we can ignite it uh, sticks and leaves I know we got sticks and leaves let's try that no luck lighting the fire but keep trying trying ignite let's try it again darn it And it just doesn't like to light with that so that's when we come back to our crafting table we craft and let's go to tools and let's go to flint and steel let's see did that give me a piece of flint and steel yes it did right here so let's go to basic campfire let's ignite and we're gonna ignite it with the flint and steel you light the fire that should keep you warm for a while so if this works this exposure should start going down yes it is 
Oh no, it's going back up. You're warming up pretty quickly. That was where one of my bugs were. That's right. But anyways, guys, you can see uh, what kind of stuff that you can make in Quest. And uh, some of the stuff that we'll be covering. And yes, we will be going over bugs. And we will be looking at stuff like that. Um, but, you know... I really like the idea of this, and it's cool also if you go away from the campfire, once you get back around the campfire, it'll start, you know, taking effect again if you're in the same room with the campfire. Um, but if you're not, you know, it won't work. So, let's take a drink of water. A little unsettling, but not bad. So we can... Oh, see, our fire died out. See, it lets us know that our campfire died out. And we lose a little health every time we drink the nasty water. Uh, the way I had it was that you could take uh, bamboo stalks, you could make a bamboo cup, and then you could, you know, carry water around with you and everything else. So it was pretty cool, I thought. Everything was uh, really looking uh, pretty decently until I lost everything. And so I was starting over and I said, you know what, let's uh, let's do a series together, guys. But um, sorry for that long interruption. Uh, let's get back at it. Um, the first tutorial that we do. And I already got my tutorial game set up here. So if you come in, you see I have nothing, there's nothing in here. The included libraries are, are what's automatically included. You got your object types, functions, timers, walkthroughs, uh, command, verbs, players, and everything. And what you can do with all this, of course, your rooms, you can turn your room into an object or a room. So let's say you wanted to make a container. So if we went here, we added object, let's just put storage, we'll make storage, and now we can take storage and make it an object and a room, and then we can come to verbs, actually no, we don't want to make that a room, I'm sorry, we don't want to enter it, it's just an object, but we go to features, okay, and then we can say this is a container. And then we'll get this container tab that pops up. Well, you can choose what type of container it is. Container, a closed container, a surface container. So which would be like the top of a desk. Let's say it's a top of a desk. And you can hide the children until you looked at it. So if I was to come over here and add an object, uh, let's just call it a comb. Comb. All right, so let's put the comb in the storage. All right, and then we're going to come back to container and hide the children until it's looked at. So let's go in to our game and see what's going on. You are in a room. You can see the storage. So if we look at the storage, boom, we look at it. Now we can see the comb. The comb pops up. So that's really cool. That's something that you can do, you know, to make a basic top storage and you can do a little bit more. But what we're going to be doing is covering more of that. Like I said, we're going to create a little basic survival game uh, to have health, hunger, thirst, and uh, maybe exposure as well. And what we'll do is that we'll go through and show you guys how to make all that. We'll make object types. Okay, which will be player stats. We'll make player stats like that. And then from here, this is where we'll add our health. Or if you don't want to use this, which uh, right now they really did uh, vamp up the health system. So if we wanted to come to game, okay. And we go to, uh, where is it, interface, interface, display, features, features, here we go. Okay, so if we go to game and then go to features, we go to health. 
okay and then we also want to go to inventory and click our limited carried by container specifying a volume okay each object can have a volume so this is how we can change how many objects that we actually have even though it's considered one object we can change the volume of the object which will give us more uh, you can also click your uh, lightness and darkness so you can put in day night cycles if you wanted to um, which is pretty cool uh, the map the map and drawing grid uh, it's pretty cool but you have to know where your game is going. If not, it gets confused, it'll get tangled up, and yeah, everything will look like a big blob. Um, but for now, what we were looking at was the health. So we can turn on our health system right here. And if we go over to our player and attributes, we can come down and look at our attributes and it should have health somewhere which I am not seeing at the moment but anyways if we were to go in and start playing the game now now we can see up here in the status we have health at 100 percent so let's go to our game let's go to script now this is the start script so as soon as you start the game this is what's going to happen. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start the game, okay, and I'm going to take away some health. We're going to take away some health from the player. So from here, if we add new script, okay, and we just scroll down until we hit player, increase health, decrease health. So if we add decrease health, number and make sure you go up if you go minus nothing happens okay this is the this is a mistake i made so decrease health and let's do it by five okay so when we start it's automatically going to take away five health from us so boom now we're at 95 percent so we can change this number anywhere we want to and then it's automatically going to take our health away. So this is very, very convenient. Uh, if you don't want to make your own health system, it's very easy to use. Um, yeah, so using this system right here for your health is probably your best bet and easiest way to go about it. Um, but in our player and our object types, we could add our own specific health that we wanted to. We could add, um, you know, whatever we wanted to. So we add a hunger, and then we add thirst. Okay, we could add all that, and then we turn around. We want to make these integers. So you click on your attribute, you come down here to your string and you change it to integer 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 there we go and then we could come back to player and we could add our object type that we made which is called the player stats which pops up right I didn't type that player stats and hit OK and now as we see down here, we have our hunger, our health, and our thirst. We have all of those right there. Now, if we wanted to list these, we have to add them here. Okay, please enter an attribute name. So what I want to do is go health, leave it blank okay and then we're gonna go add hunger and then we're gonna go thirst and there we go okay so now we got hunger thirst and all that good stuff in our 
status attribute. So now when we play, we can see we have health, health, hunger, and thirst. So our 100% up here is from our in-game our in-game health system. So if we de-check that box, save it, we'll go back. We see that we only have health, hunger, and thirst right there now. So if we come back to our player, all right, I don't know, is that going to work? Yep. Okay. So, now that our status attributes are sitting up there, okay, from our three, hunger, health, thirst, all that good stuff, we can change our values from right here. So, let's say we're at 25, okay? Zero is going to mean that, you know, we're hungry or we're thirsty, we have 10, and we're going to have, uh, let's just say, 30 health. There we go. We'll set these values, and then when we go in, we see that our health is at 30, our hunger is 25, and our thirst is at 10. You know, this is your basic setup for um, a survival game. You know, any survival game. And... You know, this is this is going to be one of the main things that we're covering. And we're going to cover, you know, a little bit of crafting and different things like that. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll be covering a lot more. Um, I'll probably go around and I can erase this. You know, I'll, I'll leave it here until next episode. But when we come back, we'll actually cover and we'll go over some things. Uh, we'll add new rooms and we'll add some actual pickup items and what we can do with that. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, uh, subscribe, all that good stuff. Tell your friends. Um, I'm going to be doing this uh, quest tutorial until it's done. Uh, once I get done with a nice, simplistic survival game then we'll move on and we'll do something else either we'll do something else in quest or we'll move on to a different engine um, but until next time guys take it easy